Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to execute our collection using Newman and Docker. So let's begin. Firstly, what we need to do is that we need to download and install Docker on our machine. For that, you need to open your browser and search for download Docker. Okay. And you need to open this first Docker a link. Okay. Official link. Okay and then you need to select between the different operating system by default it picks up to your default operating system right now i'm using windows so by default it is selected as a windows okay just download this one okay and it will start downloading if you have any kind of restrictions on your machine okay then in that particular case just click on keep okay it will start downloading the docker on your machine okay so once it has been completed, you need to execute this file. I'm canceling this one right now. So once this setup has been downloaded on your machine, you need to just click on this setup and go with the default options available. If you have virtualization enabled on your machine, then it will not ask for that. Okay. But if the virtualization is disabled, you might need to enable this one or Docker might ask you to enable this one okay so once the docker has been installed successfully on your machine you need to open your command prompt and verify this one okay for that uh, you need to type docker space version if these information appears here in the command prompt this means that docker is installed successfully on your machine okay so on windows you might have encountered with the daemon issue uh, in order to resolve that issue you need to switch the daemon okay so in order to change the daemon or switch the daemon on your system you need to type a command here so here is the command so you need to drive us to that particular directory where your docker is installed and you need to provide this dash switch daemon command so you need to execute this command on the command prompt in order to resolve this issue okay so once you have executed this command then again go back to the command prompt here and again type docker dash version so once this docker details has been appeared here this means that your docker is up and running okay now uh, what we need to do is that we need to take a pull of newman postman image okay this is a really simple command okay you need to type docker pull postman slash newman and press enter okay i have already this image so what this command will do for me right now is that it will check for any updates okay if there is no update here it will say okay image is up to date and for you if you haven't this image it will download and pull that image for you now we need to execute our collection using docker newman image now what we need to do is that we need to open the postman. We need to find the public address for that particular collection. We will copy that URL and here we will use that URL to run our collection using Newman Docker. Okay. So open the postman here and I'm opening, I'm using this particular employee project, which we used earlier. Okay. Click on these three dots, click on share collection and go to this public uh, link click on get public link okay just click uh, update link once then copy this one okay now we need to go back to our notepad so that we can write this url here okay now go back to the command prompt okay now we will use that command here in order to run our collection using new man and docker so this is a command here this is simple. We are instructing Docker here to run this image and on this image, Docker needs to run this collection. So after run, what we need to do is that we need to provide the URL or the location of that particular collection. Okay. Now I just click enter here. It might take some time because we are using Docker now.
so it got executed successfully okay and we use the dummy apis here and you can see the details here attention one number of requests test scripts pre-request so whatever we did uh during our collection what we used in our collection has been executed successfully thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next lecture